Hello, ladies and gentlemen of my subscriber base. Sorry that I've kept you over a month waiting for this part two, but let's jump right into it. It's also a matter of common sense, and we know it, that the Hollywood industry is clinging, clinging to guns economically. They are glamorizing guns in, in this country. They are the scourge in terms of these guns. Guns can kill if people have evil intentions. All right. Here we go again, and first things first. <clears throat> they, on the left side of the screen, they keep showing these images of people crying after Sandy Hook, and all that, just using pathos, and it, it really, it's just propaganda. I mean, they're just trying to get an emotional response. There's no logic behind it. They're just trying to make you think, oh my gosh, something so horrible happened. I better agree with the point they're making. Or I'm going to hurt these people. Or I'm ignoring their pain. It's trying to invoke empathy in a really selfish way to support their cause. <coughs> Sorry about this little cough I have. And then the attack on Hollywood, that comes kind of out of left field. It comes out of nowhere. But the way I see it is it fits with their political view. Because Fox News tends to be very conservative. Hollywood tends to be very liberal. That's probably where that attack comes from. So it's a little bit of political propaganda worked in there with the anti-video game propaganda. I do find it amusing, though, for the purpose of, um... Because they're, they're trying to use it for the purpose of saying we need to limit violence in entertainment. Because, I mean, the anti-gun legislation didn't get anywhere. <laughs> the anti-video game legislation isn't going anywhere. Do they really think that by bringing Hollywood into this, they can get the video game legislation to go somewhere? Look, even a lot of the people who are anti-video games aren't anti-Hollywood. So they're actually making their cause less popular than it already was. But don't tell our children that it's acceptable to mow down people in malls, in churches, in schools, on the street. They don't know better. They know what we're taught. And we're teaching them wrong. Alright, this guy is apparently working on the assumption that children are just psychopaths until they reach a certain age. Everyone has a certain level of morality. Like, you know right from wrong from a very young age. Like, when you were like five or six the first time you lied to your parents, you knew you weren't supposed to. And you felt some guilt, and you were probably really bad at lying. Because you probably showed it on your face, so you probably got caught. Unless... Arguably, unless you're a psychopath. But if you're a psychopath, studies tend to show that that is a more genetic problem. Although, you know, there's arguments as to whether it can be environmentally caused. But that's not a problem that's caused by video games, is general consensus. Now, in addition, I seem to have missed the part of video games where they tell you that it's okay to drive down to a church and shoot people. I don't know. When I was playing Grand Theft Auto, I just didn't get that message somehow. It's almost like I wasn't there, you know? Funny. You know, in fact, it seems to me when you ride down the sidewalk in your car, killing people, the police show up and kick your ass. That was what happened last time I played Grand Theft Auto anyway. See, this guy clearly has not played a video game. Or he doesn't understand what they're really about. And besides that, if video games actually did encourage violence, they could be banned. And frankly, should be at that point. If they said, oh yeah, hey, everyone should go kill somebody. Because those are um, fighting words. In fact, that is a direct call to violence that is inciting violence that is not protected under the First Amendment. You can't just say... Hey, you, go kill somebody. So, obviously, that's not what video games do. This guy is completely deluding himself. There's also parental responsibility. I mean, if you let your kid play, you know, your 10-year-old your play a, a game intended for adults, they're going to wind up being inside the, that adult's video game. They need all kinds of controls. Yeah. Parental control in Hollywood should start to police itself because death should not be the byproduct of our entertainment. Amen. Amen. Peter, thank you. Good to see you, Steve. All right. All right. Well, just an empty assertion at the end that tries to appeal to emotion rather than logic. 
Uh, that is when he says that uh, violence or death is should not be the byproduct of entertainment. You know, like anyone's going to disagree with that. It's an empty statement. <sighs> All right, indeed. Well, that about mops this up. The reason I did this video was simply because it's a very recent example of this bias. I know I've done a lot of videos about stuff from like 2008, 9, 7, uh, going back like 2004. Um, I know I've done some of the older stuff, but I felt like it was important to do a recent example to show that Fox News is still doing this type of thing. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you all for subscribing. I have over 700 subscribers now, which is great. Thank you all. I wish I could thank each of you individually. But that would take days and days. Uh, keep your eyes open soon for reviews of some games. I'm going to try to go back into doing that some. Just another black hole of stupidity.